Hello aviation enthusiasts, welcome back to Histories of Airliners. Today we have an intriguing story to dive into, the mysterious tale of the Northwest Orient Airlines Boeing 727-051 registered as November 467 Uniform Sierra. Buckle up as we take a journey through time and explore the history and events and the ultimate fate of this iconic aircraft. Our story begins with the Northwest Orient Airlines Boeing 727-051 a workhorse of the skies in its heyday. This aircraft took to the skies for the first time on April 9th, 1965, and little did it or any of its operators know the events it would witness during its operational life. Before we dive into the fate of this aircraft, let's talk about Northwest Orient Airlines, a major carrier in the United States. The airline had played a crucial role in shaping aviation landscape during the mid-20th century, and the early model 727s were a key part of their fleet. This aircraft was delivered to Northwest Airlines on April 22nd of 1965. It was painted in the jet red tail livery that Northwest Airlines used during the 1960s. As stated at the beginning of the video, the aircraft was registered as November 467 Uniform Sierra. However, this aircraft became the center of attention across the country due to a mysterious incident on November 24th, 1971, the day before Thanksgiving in the United States that year. On that day, a mysterious figure, only known as D.B. Cooper, managed to skyjack the aircraft and brazenly jumped out of the rear air stairs at 20,000 feet to make his alleged escape. Whether D.B. Cooper was just an average criminal or a Nordic god making good on a lost bet is a subject for other videos you may find on YouTube. This unusual occurrence left both the aviation experts and the public puzzled. The aircraft and Northwest Airlines would recover from this incident by flying passengers safely for another seven years. The year was now 1978 when this airliner was transferred to Piedmont Airlines. The registration changed to November 838 November, named Mount Mitchell and Pacemaker, and the livery would be changed to the classic light blue cheat line and speedbird it was mostly known for. The aircraft's range of over 2200 nautical miles or 4100 kilometers allowed Piedmont to expand its route system all over North America with cruise speeds of up to 518 knots or 960 kilometers an hour allowed this aircraft to reach those destinations quicker than most of its contemporary competition. Unusually for most passenger aircraft, this particular plane was operated under a lease by companies called United Technologies in 1982 and then Flight Dynamics in 1983. While with these companies, the aircraft was used to carry out tests of new navigation equipment. Unfortunately, we have no pictures of this aircraft during this period of time. The registration remained what it was with Piedmont Airlines. The aircraft would return to paying passenger service with a small airline known as Key Airlines. This airline painted the aircraft in a simple livery with a red cheat line along the windows and was re-registered for the final time as November 29 Kilo Alpha. During this period of time, the aircraft operated on daily charter flights from Nellis Air Force Base to the Tonopah Test Range, a restricted Department of Energy installation located about 125 nautical miles or 232 kilometers northwest of Las Vegas, Nevada. Eventually, this aircraft would be retired by Key Airlines along with most of their other 727s. This aircraft in particular was scrapped at the Greenwood LaFleur Airport in Mississippi in 1996. While the story of this airliner may have taken some unexpected turns, its legacy lives on. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the history of this historic aircraft, the Northwest Orient Airlines Boeing 727-051. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more aviation stories. Until next time, fly high and stay curious. The pictures you see on the screen now are of a 1-400 scale model produced by a company called Aero Classics in 2020. As shown, this aircraft has been made into a Model 3 times, not only in 1-400 by Aero Classics, but also by in-flight models in 1-200 scale, and by Aero Classics in 1-400 scale, but in its Piedmont Airlines guise. For any enterprise that is interested, this channel is available for advertising for your company. This opportunity is available for all reputable North American companies. Please contact me via the email address shown here. This channel survives with you, the viewer, and your ongoing support. The more you watch my videos from start to finish, helps me get a larger distribution, which will bring in more subscribers. That will then repeat this process. If you like what you've seen, hit those like buttons and spread the word. We've enjoyed making this video, and we hope you've had fun watching it. Thank you, and good day.